Yes. Okay, I'm seeing a wave of yes. That's great. Too soft, it's okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Barely, okay. It's because the BGM is pretty loud right now, but we'll get on it. What up? So we will start with our stream. It is going to be V216 Astral Blessings Update Preview. <laughs> but let's get into it. What up? What up? Hello! Everything good? Do you guys hear me? Are we good? Checking for audio first. Hello, hello. Okay, we're good. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> Hi guys, long time no stream. It's been, I think, about six months since we didn't have a stream. I think the last one was in February, so. Wow, it took a while. Um, I hope everyone's doing well and is staying safe during these times. Um, we have been all working from home and that's why there's been a lot of difficulties, technically, like technical difficulties and also sort of coming in the office for me too. So we're sort of glad that this finally happened. Um, we actually tried numerous times before too. Like we were trying to stream Rise updates as well. It didn't work out. So I'm, hope I'm very happy that this finally is happening. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing okay. Hello, hello. <laughs> we will be having a giveaway um, in the middle and towards the end. So I hope you stay tuned in for those. Low volume, really? Maybe the desktop audio is too loud. Hello, hello, hello. What I'll be giving away, I will introduce in the middle when we do our first giveaway. <laughs> the volume is fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you for confirming. We always do audio checks first if you know our Maple Story streams. <laughs> but yeah, I will be going over sort of the highlights that we did cover in our update preview post. If you haven't seen our update preview post yet on Twitch, you can use command preview to go to that post. And towards the end, I will sort of share a little bit more about events or content changes that haven't been mentioned on our update preview post yet. So yeah, continue tuning in. Hello, hello. I do see a few familiar names here. <laughs> but before we start on the Felicity Festival preview, I do want to let you know that I know a lot of you guys have been referencing to MSEA's event or patch notes for this, but we there are a few differences from MSEA's event and our GMS event, so just take that into note. <laughs> but if you don't... Oh, my introduction was late, I'm sorry. If you don't know me yet, I am Jiggly, the community manager for MapleStory, so hello! I'm easily reachable on Discord most of the time. What are the differences? I will try to pinpoint few, but a lot of the information will be provided on our patch notes that will go live next week. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Let's get started. We're good? Okay, I know, I know the camera's pretty bright, but we tried a lot of things yesterday and we had several technical difficulties, uh, but we resolved most of them. It'll be fine. And you might hear a bit of my keyboard sound as just a heads up. But it's okay. I'll try to avoid using my <laughs> keyboard as much as I can. Hello, hello. For people who's trickling in now. Okay, for Celestial Festival. It is coming in August 26th right after our maintenance. Our update maintenance. And it does have ranks. It does have celestial ranks like our previous events. 
you start off at celestial rank C, and then you can go all the way up to S. Uh, but one thing that I do want to let you know, and that I'm personally very happy about, is that you don't need to, when you rank up, it doesn't cost you your celestial points. It's just how much you accumulate. So it's not like you have to get this much amount on like your alter alternative character to pay off your rank up cost. It's nothing like that. It's just how much you accumulate. And when you accumulate that much, you get to rank up. So that itself is pretty convenient in a case. <laughs> but yeah, I know we've had a lot of coin shops and a lot of rank ups the past few patches. So I know some of you guys are burnt up. I can't deny that I've been a little burnt down. <laughs> So I'm very happy to hear this news, but yeah, it's by accumulation and rank C and B will be available the day of maintenance and rank A and S will be unlocked on a separate day, but that information will be provided on our patch notes, so yeah. What is, <laughs> what is my favorite class? Um, I am meaning Demon Slayer right now, so probably. Yeah. But yeah, so moving on, there are sort of special skills and effects that each rank will give, but I will sort of get more deeply into that a little bit after. I, will, I do have a whole section of rank skills and the whole main events. So we'll talk about that in a bit. And, <laughs> and there are rank up reward parts that I do want to go into. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this UI yet, but are ranks per character or shared? It is shared per world. Yes, shared per world. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be the main overview UI for your Celestial Festival event. Um, these three are going to be the main events that I will be elaborating on in a bit. And this gauge will show you how much points you, or how much points you have to accumulate to reach the next rank. Right now, my character is in rank S, that's why it's filled up. <laughs> okay, but For those who are confused, I am Ghibli. Uh, can we imagine from Maple Story? Hello, welcome, welcome. But yes, continuing on, there are rank up rewards. So each time you rank up, you will be receiving a, a prize. So the first, this will be when you rank up to from C to B, you will be getting a character burn leader, which will let your char existing character level up to 150 with the burning effect. And this is going to be what a lot of people a lot of you guys have been asking for. Um, so when you rank up from B to A, you will gain access to the Sanctuary of Stars. This is the one that you guys are a lot of, a lot of you guys have been calling No Boom Room. <laughs> so it is available, but I do want to let you know that it does prevent destruction from 15 stars, but for Tyrant, it'll be eight stars. So just keep that in mind. But yes, that will be the Sanctuary of Stars. I will be going in there in a bit. And from A to S, you will be getting an equi equipment transfer. This is for non-reboot world, worlds only. Reboot world will be getting something else. And you'll see that on the patch list. <laughs> I'm trying to sort of conceal some information so you guys will still be interested in the patch notes. So for equipment transfer, a lot of people have been asking about it too. Um, I will be showing you guys a s small example in a bit, but yeah. <laughs> and then after you rank up to S, there's no another rank up, but there is another sort of reward that you can unlock. 
and that will be when you accumulate 3,000 cluster points or more. And that's when you get the Mount Skill Transfer and an uh, ex event exclusive title. I will also be showing you ex event exclusive title. But yeah, so these are the rank up rewards that you will be getting. I will be showing you some of you, some of them. Do -do -do -do. <gasps> If I'm looking here, I'm looking at the chat, by the way. <sighs> okay, so character burninator, I do think a lot of you guys already know about this. We've been giving them out in Rise update as well. So let's go with the Sanctuary of Stars. It's this portal right here. But it will, you will only gain access after you rank, you rank up from BUA. So this will be the room where you go in. Zero destruction rate for items 50 stars or lower. I do know, Tyrant is going to be 8 stars. So keep that in mind. And I do want to sort of emphasize that no destruction only works on the Star Force Enhancement UI. I do remember in our anniversary event when we had the Pixel Sauna, um, some players did sort of get confused and used scroll enhancements, and which resulted in destruction. So, want to clarify that? Please use your Star Force Enhancement UI. <laughs> Are rank ups locked by a date? Uh, the first two rank up, the first rank you will be getting upon starting the event, and the second rank up will be available right after maintenance. And rank A and rank S, the last two ranks will be unlocked on a specific date. Yes. Ooh, uh, okay. When is this out? Next week. Next week, Wednesday, is our patch maintenance day. So yeah, so this is going to be the room. Your no boom room. <laughs> Can we only pick one skill to use, like EXP or okay. Yes, I will get into that. But... Let's go over the rank of rewards first. And then I'll go over skills and then the main events. So for equipment transfer, this, as I mentioned before, this is for non-reboot worlds only. Reboot world will be getting something else. Um, this is where you can sort of move your, if there's specific weapons and emblem that you can, you can move, we do have that listed. It's Axelab, Fafnir, some secondary weapons and gold emblems. They can be transferred to a different character. So just like, just to give, what's it called? Music bottle ball. So, so gold emblem could also work, Absolute could also work. But you can choose a job on the recipient character and it will change to that character's equipment, in a sense. Are you able to tell us about third boon and fourth boon is for reboot? For third, it is going to be different. It won't be an equipment transfer. But for fourth, it will be the same. It will still be mount skill transfer and the title for reboot as well. So you have to transfer the essence to the character, yes. So essence can be moved through storage. So if my absolute level comes on, if I choose the job of the recipient to be Adele, then it will change the blade caster, and you will get to see what the result will be like. So it sort of transferred stats, potentials, etc., the stars, What does Enter the Umbra mean? I will go over that. That is one of our main events. 
Yeah, so just take a note that this is coming and this is also a rank of reward if you rank up from A to S. So the last rank up. Okay, so that is what you will get for the, all the rank ups and I'll just showcase the title and move on and let's move on to the skills. This is how the title will look like. Out of the eclipse. Okay, let's move on to skills. So, one of the good things about Celestial Festival is that it does give you skills and there will be different skills that you can level up as well. Um, you can access the skills through here or talk to Muhammad, that's fine. This is going to be the skill UI you will be getting. You can have up to 12 skill points, but to get a skill point, you need to trade off with Muhammad. Um, 300 celestial point will give you one skill point. So just keep that in mind. Every information here will be included in our patch notes, just as a reference. And these four, you will, you will get automatically as you rank up and they will stack with one another as well. So this one is blah and it'll just stack up. And from here, these are the skills that you can put your skill point into. Infernal Wolf, there's the boss attack, but do note that you will only get 12 skill points in total. So need to sort of see prioritize which ones you would like more are your skill choices per character or per world skill will be shared per world from what i recall can you pull skills from different trees from here you can from here For skills, there is a little bit of a minor, I guess, effects. Um, as you can see, these tr these skills are divided into three tr trees, and they do have a bit of a meaning. It's very minor, but it does change the appearance of the festival map according to how many skills you do level up in that tree. So. For one of them, it'll increase more like festive NPCs. One of them will be increasing the, how much firearms you get in the map. One of them will be increasing the amount of decorations there is in the, in the map. So it's very minor and trivial, but if you do care about it, it's there. How many skill points you can get in total is 12. You can get 12 skill points in total. So you can look more into it when the event starts because I don't want to be hovering over all these. <laughs> I believe you can reset it, but we'll see. You can reset it. Reset is possible. over there we'll clip it I don't think anything's gonna change at this point but okay I'm just gonna hover them really fast you guys can clip it okay <laughs> and then let's move on we have a lot to cover and I also want to do giveaways so okay there you go Clip it, okay? <laughs> okay. So, that's how Celestial Skills will be working, and let's move on to the main events. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. So, these three Celestial Surge, Enter the Umbra, and Unending Night will be the three main events of the Celestial Festival, and it will be a weekly event. If you choose one, you can't choose another af until after a week has ended. A week will end on Monday. 
Monday, 12 a.m. UTC. Um, what I would call correctly. So yeah, so I know on our update preview post, we featured the Umbra. So Umbra is what you guys might call a little bit similar to what Amber Waves was last year. I know. But yeah, it's a map where there will be monsters with high EXP and you get a specific time limit and you get to defeat them for how, how many minutes you have. The amount of EXP the monsters will give and the amount of time you will have in the map is based on your celestial rank. It will go up as you rank up. But you can... No. You can't use spawn boosters in Umbra. Skills that increase spawn rate or the amount, uh, number of monsters will not work in the map. So I'm not saying lower the music. Okay. I'll lower it for now. Whoop. Is it better? <laughs> Is it too low? <laughs> now it's too low. These audio issues. That's better. Music back. <laughs> Guys, we need to find the middle ground. Okay, you know what? I'll increase it a little bit. Maybe this will be, maybe this will work. Okay. Yeah, I increased it a little bit. <laughs> Louder now, okay. You know what? You know what? Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> so that w that's the Umbra. Um, yeah. Uh, monsters will also give celestial points on that. And yeah, skills that increase spawn rate or monster number will not work. Is entry time and weekly event per character or per world? For the Umbra, it will be per character. But you will be stuck with this event for the whole week for all your characters. So this itself, the selection itself is per world, but the effect is going to be on per character, at least for the Umbra. For Celestial Surge, it is going to be a skill that you use when you're hunting monsters near your level. And as you, you when the skill is used, you will be getting an EXP buff and a Celestial Point. And something that's special about this EXP buff is that it can stack. It can stack up to 50 times. And the amount of EXP buff, amount of EXP that you will get from this buff is also based on your celestial rank. If you rank up, you will get more. <laughs> but yeah. And yeah, that's that's basically what celestial search is going to be. Um it will stack up up to 50, 50 times and as a rank S, I think it can go up to 350% from what I recall correctly. But the buff effect will be reset after reset. <laughs> and Unending Night is the one that you guys have been talking about for arcane symbols. So if you choose Unending Night for the week, your arcane area daily quests or other content, you will be getting more rewards out of it. It does depend on your celestial rank as well. It can be double or triple based on your rank. Is it after Rise event? Yes, it is after Rise event. This event is coming next week Wednesday after our patch maintenance. So yeah, it will be giving more arcane river area quests rewards plus additional rewards. <laughs> and it will also count for contents like Art of Spectrum, Hungry Luto, Dream Defender, and Spirit Saver. So keep those in mind. So basically you can choose these once per week and it will affect the whole world. So just keep that in mind. Um, you will be stuck with that event until it resets on Monday.
Can you do each only once? Enter the Umbra is going to be per character per day. Um, Celestial Surge. I think you can use the skill until even after Celestial Point is maxed out for the day, but. <laughs> How many weeks does the event last? You will see on our patch notes. It will go live next week. Can you choose the same one every week? Guess you can. If you want, you can choose the same one every week. Do you still get no stones for an ending night? I don't want to disclose too much, but yes, you do. <laughs> but yeah, I think I, I think I answered a lot of the questions that you guys have, I think. Will there be a cash drop transfer event? Not for 216, not for 216. I also want it, but it's not coming in 216. Let's hope for the future. <laughs> but yeah, these are the main events that you will be interacting with during the Celestial Festival. Um, there will be other supplementary side events that you will get to sort of play through. There's the Fire Thief where you... It's sort of similar to... Is it Battlefield and Knights in Ryan? We had a similar content like that in Rise as well, but that will, will not count towards your daily capacity. And there's also the Princess Parade, where there will be Violetta's parade car coming by. <laughs> and when you hit it, it will give you some orbs that will give you XP and Celestial Points. And there's also the Jackpot. Actually, I could do the Jackpot right now. This is the Celestial Wheel. And this is also called the Celestial Jackpot. So this one is free. And it's sort of, it might be easier to listen to Cassandra do it. <laughs> but you can only spin it every 30 minutes. And if you, there's white and black, and if you land on black, you win. And every consecutive win, it gets doubled. You, if the first win, you'll go 20, 40, 80, and you can clear it once per day, but if you get white, I think your winnings reset. So this one, it goes like this, and then what up? Oh, I actually got white yesterday, so <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. So I could claim it, or I could wait 30 minutes to double the winning. Etc. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joining the guild right now. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. And also, if you guys have been seeing these hot air balloons going right, at, going up and down, these are going to be the new AFK areas. If you guys enjoy the Rise Banquet Hall right now, this is going to be your go-to place. Um, so the Yeti hot air balloon is going to be giving you EXP and the Pink Bean hot air balloon is going to give you the celestial points. Black race. No! <laughs> so as you are just here, oh, is Pink Bean the EXP? <laughs> am I, fr am I, am I tripping? Am I tripping? But anyways, one will give EXP and one will give Celestial Points. I, I guess Yeti's a Celestial Points then. <laughs> but yeah, there are different events that you can do. Um, I would say for this event, it will be a lot of benefits if you're training alternative characters in a sense. It will benefit you more EXP-wise if you're below 200, but... Yeah, I'm not going to do black shirts. <laughs> but yeah, these are all the events that you will be getting from Celestial Festival, and I hope you do enjoy them. Um, there isn't a separate coin shop for this, so you will be spending most of your Celestial points on your skills. 
on your skills. <laughs> Mostly on your skills. There's no typhoon potion with this event. I will be going over Sunny Sunday at the end of the stream. Yes, you get a burn insta instead though. Yes, that is correct. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap up the Celestial Festival here and then let's move on to our fairy bows, okay? I'll try to answer a little bit more questions concerning Celestial Festival throughout the stream as well. So keep them coming. Okay, let me move over to a different map. And while I do that, let's put this up. I will be showcasing some of my rewards as well, so... <laughs> what am I hiding? I'm moving maps. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. Okay, let's come back. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome back, welcome back. We've been gone for like a minute. But... Okay, there we go. UI fits, great. So this is going to be our Fairy Bros Golden Giveaway. The event is a returning event, so if you participated on our first one, you already sort of know how this goes. Um, if you don't, you'll learn more about it. <laughs> but I personally do like this rewards more than the previous one, I think. I vaguely remember what the previous rewards were like. But yeah, last one. I actually don't really remember what the last one was like. <laughs> but I know you guys are excited for the unit damage skin, so I'll be showcasing that as well. So you will have to take attendance for nine days. Each, each ninth day, you will get a reward. And please do remember that you do need to click this button after an hour has passed. If not, your attendance will not count. <laughs> so there are quite a few cosmetics, or I guess all of them are cosmetics. There are all the cosmetics e rewards in here. First will be a pet, Sonora pet. It is the pet that I have right here. The wing is the pet equipment. At the moment, in the beginning, I was sort of like, what is this? And I realized, it's this guy. <laughs> yeah, and then... <laughs> I know, it says I missed 30 days. It's because on a test client, we're way ahead. <laughs> but this golden giveaway event does start in August 26th, right after maintenance. It's a pet 90 days. Pet is 90 days. That is correct. Um, and there are quite a of other cash items that you will be getting, an amount, and some cosmetic things, and outfit, and a damage skin. A lot of them. So to showcase some of them, you will be getting this. It's a cash weapon cover. Oop. Oh, wait, I did kind of show it. That's how the damage skin works. <laughs> but that was not intended, but OK. But this is how the, web the cash weapon cover will look like. Jump, please, jump. This is how the weapon cover will look like. And there's also, a f it's a fet, the floating rock spirit. Over here, you can see it. Let me take off it. 
I'll be keep attack. I'll be attacking soon. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so it, it's an effect right here. It's a walk spirit. I don't remember which. This here. And this is the mount that you'll be getting. Whoop. I will be equipping the next outfit as well. I chose a good background for this. <laughs> I know, fashion story best, right? Fashion story is the way to go, guys. Oh. I chose the best map. Oh. No one can deny. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> and I'm not going to show this on stream, but there will be a Fairy Bros exclusive uh, hair coupon and a face coupon. These, this is the one of the hair that I got from the coupon. This is one of the face that I got from the coupon as well. I will be sh showcasing them on the patch notes though. So, yeah. <laughs> and then, let's get these on. This is the outfit you'll be getting when you are, what is it? This one. On the 90th day. So someone's asking 99 days of fairy bros, but the event is only 83 days long. During the weekends, you will get two stamps. So that would match it up. It's free, yes it's free. As long as you participate. The, we don't have pedal skin coupon this time. I really like it when I jump. It's pretty. That was not intended. <laughs> For this one though, um, you will, the coupon will let you choose between a female or a male. Everything accessory wise is the same between female and the male except for the clothes, except for the outfit. That will be gender locked. So just keep that in note when you're choosing. <laughs> but yeah, wait, let me, did I? Before I show you. Yeah, basic. Okay. Can we get rid of gender restrictions on chairs, please? I have no clue why we have gender restriction chairs as well, but it's there. <laughs> My house went. I know, I want that content too. So, last but not least, there is going to be the unit damage skin. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about it. It's finally here. I'm very glad to announce. You guys did sort of uh, take a sneak peek while I was doing it, but... <laughs> so I know it, we did have unit damage skin before, but it didn't really work out. So, that's fucked up. I was, I, I intentionally hit this dummy for a while. <laughs> Wait a minute. So for a billion, it will show a B instead. And I think for a thousand, it'll show a K. What class is this? This is a Demon Slayer. Use blood. Yeah, I can. I didn't max out the range and damage for this character, so that might be why. But I did see a B. And I will be showcasing this on our patch notes as a screenshot as well. So let's keep that in note. So whoever enjoys their screen clean with damage skins, this might be the damage skin you might want to go for. You can get this on the 99th day. This is the last reward. So max it out if you want it. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, so if you guys are looking forward to that demo skin, please participate. The event starts right after our update maintenance on August 26th, next Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> are they going to your grace days in case you miss a day? Um, so if you haven't participated in this event before, there is a thing called Golden Passes. Um, because weekends do provide two stamps though, uh, you might not really need it. But if you miss a day, you can use Golden Passes, but it will cost you Maple Points. Maple Points, I think. That's that's basically what the golden giveaway will be giving out. I'm looking forward to it. I'm a heavy cosmetic person in Maple Story. I have a very fashion story, so <laughs> or the fourth and seventh boxes. Two, three, four. This is going to be the damage skin selection box. You can select from how many damage skins are i think there's more than 100 in here yeah so you get to select that this one is a chair selection you can just select from those chairs in the list these two are the cosmetics the hair and the face yeah can you get more than one no damage skin selection box will only give you one so you have to select well. Yeah, so that sort of wraps up for our golden giveaway. Let's do a let's do a giveaway. <laughs> While I'm setting up for, for oh wait a minute before I do that, eye colors are random. I believe it was random, but whoop mystery yes mystery. I'm giving away too much information. Ugh. He should be on patch notes. <laughs> but let's do a, a giveaway while I set up or I, while I hop world to the burning world, okay? What should our keyword be, guys? What should our keyword be? Giveaway. Oh, yeah. Before I do that, what we're giving away is going to be a Yeti mug. You can see it. This one was actually open, so I can actually show you how the mug looks like. You'll be getting, whoever wins won't be getting an open one though. It looks like this. Can you see it? It's too bright. Looks like this. And then inside, it's like this. It's a mug. The lighting is really bright. And it has a Maple Story logo, if you can see it on the bottom. <laughs> the struggle is real. Why did I pick a white mug? Ugh. But yeah, that's how the Yeti mug looks like. So we're going to keep giving this away right now, and then one towards the end. What should I keyword be, guys? Keyword. <laughs> I'm going to sort of give a sneak peek about Sunny Sunday at the end of the stream. Yeti, Celestial, Yeti, no, not US only. Let's go for Celestial. <laughs> okay, the music's gonna stop a little bit. What up? The keyword is going to be celestial, but you have to do command, okay? Exclamation point, celestial, and this is on Twitch only, okay? Opening giveaway now. Exclamation point, celestial. No caps. Chat got it, okay. Keep that going. I'm gonna hide. Whoop! <laughs> keep that going, guys, keep that going.
Okay. I'm gonna end soon. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. We're gonna end the giveaway in five, four, three, two, one. Closing now. Okay. Giveaway has been closed. We are using a random program, so I know I know you guys are going to say that it's rigged, but it's not. <laughs> okay, let's randomly select a winner. Who's going to win a Yeti mug? Picking winner! No! So, XABU1. Are you here? XABU1? If you're here, can you type on chat, please? Hi! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> the chat, lol. <laughs> Congratulations, yes. Can you please DM Maple Story? I will reach out to you right after the stream to get your information. Yes, we do have. <laughs> Someone's saying they don't want it. <laughs> we do have another giveaway towards the end of the stream, so keep tuning in, guys. Yes, but please DM Maple Story, okay? I am going to keep note of your name. So just in case, if you don't, I will hunt you down. Okay. Whoop. Okay, we will have another giveaway towards the end, so just keep that in mind. But I'm just going to go over the Burning World Leap very briefly, just in case some of you guys make mistakes when you're world leaping. So yeah. Um, I know you guys would know by now, but we did constantly sort of emphasize that auction house or items in the auction house and cash out inventory should be moved to your character's inventory beforehand, before World Leap, before September 17th. When you log into your Burning World character after September 17th, you will end up in this map, the Burning Leap Zone. In this map, you will only see your character. Even if other, char other players are in this map with you, you will only see your character. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. And storage will be available, as you can see. But auction house will not be available. And cash shop will not be available. <laughs> so make sure you take your items out from your auction house and cash out inventory before you war leap. And you will just talk to mover. Burning World, I want to move this character. But if your character is not level 150 and above, it will reject. When you talk to mover, your mover is going to say, your character didn't meet the requirement, you're unable to move. So make sure you have your character level 150 and above. If I want to move this character, there's no canceling, transferring back. Ground rules. After maintenance. Transfer up to six characters, that meets the requirement, per region. At the same time, sort of like, it's really nice that we have this information here, but... I feel like we need, we need this information before you end up in this map. <laughs> so yeah, after you sort of re read all about it, you get to choose which world you want to leap to. You can only leap to non-reboot worlds, so in any region, you can leap to Bera, Scania, Elysium, Aurora. In EU, Luna is going to be your, <laughs> your go-to. So yeah, that's sort of how Burning World will work. It's very short, I just wanted to re-emphasize cash shop and auction house items need to go on your character inventory, okay? 
I'm not really sure if we will be restoring. I'm not really sure if we can restore it if that happens. So make precautions, please. But yeah, and I do want to move on to and more so that I could tell you a little bit more of contents and information that wasn't included in the update preview. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> OK. This is a very short, sec short section. And more. Let me move my camera up. Whoop. OK. Uh, let me know if the audio is too loud. If it's not, if it's okay, let me know. I'm not hiding my screen. <laughs> well, I'm hiding my screen because I don't need the in-game footage anymore. <laughs> audio is good. A little loud. Audio is good. Louder. Louder. Audio is good. I'm gonna think it's o it's okay. Audio is good. Thank you. Um. So we will be having few other events and a lot of their changes as well included in this patch but I do admit that this patch is a lighter one compared to the past big patches we had Rise was a peak, up, peak season update this is a little bit on the lighter side um, we do have another AFK EXP event coming up if you remember I haven't done anything it's coming back but <sighs> But yeah, um, that event's coming up, and we will be getting familiars added to the Moonbridge area as well. So that's coming up in this patch as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> Oh, yeah. The whole or more detail list will be provided on our patch notes that will go live next week. Most likely Tuesday. Most likely Tuesday morning. Oh, I'll, I'll update on Discord. <laughs> no, there won't be terrible burning for this update. And... Last but not least, Sunny Sunday, I do want to give you guys a heads up. I don't know why we started doing this on the first week, but another Star Force 5, 10, 15 event is coming up on the first week of Sunny Sunday for 216. So not this weekend, next weekend. So 8th, I think that's August 30th? Is it th August 30th? So keep that in mind. <laughs> That day isn't too big. I know the coin capping did burn a lot of players out, but for this one, at least you don't really get to you don't really spend too much on coin shop or rank ups. So I'm hoping it will be less tiring. Five, ten, fifteen, Star Force, Sunny Sunday perk will be August thirtieth. August 30th. So not this weekend, next weekend. But yeah, those were the information that I wanted to share with everyone from this patch. And let's do our last giveaway. Let's do our last giveaway. What should our keyword be? <laughs> giveaway? Where did the bean go? Violet. <laughs> oh, whoa. My chat's going by so fast. Astro? I'm gonna make it long. I'm gonna make it. Okay. Let's make it long. <laughs> Should we do the whole update thing? Astro Wilson? Astro blessings with us. I'm gonna get long. <laughs> okay, 
giveaway didn't start yet. The giveaway is going to be exclamation point, astral blessings, no space, plural. Okay, astral blessings with the S. Opening giveaway now. <laughs> is the chat getting it? Okay, chat got it. Keep on coming, keep on coming. This is the last giveaway. And then we will be raiding a beam regator. We did a raid for a while because we didn't have a stream for a while, so. <laughs> we'll be raiding and then we'll be off our ways. I thought I was gonna make this stream short. I always say that and it doesn't work. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Keep on coming. Last giveaway of the day. I'm not sure. Will we have a stream again next month? Yes. <laughs> Be we, due to the situation right now, all of us are working from home. And that's one of the reasons, as I mentioned before, that we didn't have a stream for months. Um, today, I am visiting the office for a short time to stream and to sort of showcase these events with you guys, but we'll see. Going to close the giveaway soon. I think I gave out, oh, I think I gave out too many information. <laughs> but patch notes will come out next week. Most likely Tuesday. out to you right after the stream to get your information yeah yeah let me get your name down okay yeah but please DM maple story and I will get your information after the stream but before we leave let's raid joining in guys and I'll see you guys next time